With violent and ferocious protests gripping Paris and other towns across France in the aftermath of a deadly police shooting of a young boy, many of the millions planned to visit this summer will be questioning if it's safe to travel. Curfews have been imposed in certain towns near the capital due to the chaos, destruction, and clashes. Bus and tram services were disrupted, and a statewide closure was imposed for 9 p.m. on Friday in an attempt to prevent another night of violence. As the peak travel season begins, and the two-week Tour de France cycle race, the world's most watched athletic event begins, here are some answers to the queries that tourists may have. What is going on in France right now? For several nights, areas in some of France's biggest towns have erupted in violence after a youngster called Nahel Merzouk, presumably of Algerian heritage, was fatally shot by police, an occurrence captured on film. Protests against police began on the night of June 27th in the Parisian district of Nanterre, where Merzouk was shot, and have since expanded to other areas of the city and numerous other cities. On the night of June 29th, more than 800 people were arrested as the outrage grew. Merzouk's killing appears to have sparked outrage in France concerning racial inequalities and police discrimination. During the chaos, buildings, vehicles, and rubbish have been set on fire. Which cities are at risk? Protests began in Nanterre, a suburb of the larger metropolitan area of northern Paris. Protests have also taken place in the following areas near the capital. Baisons, Genevilliers, gargy les gonesse Asnières-sur-Seine, Montreuil, Neuilly-sur-Marne, Clamart, and Moudon. Traps, clergy, Guillaume-Court, and Vigneux-sur-Seine have also been impacted. All of this is beyond the périphique ring road that encircles the central Paris arrondissements, which include the majority of the major tourist attractions and lodgings. Elite raid police have also been deployed in key tourist cities like As Marseille and Bordeaux in the south, as well as Lille, a stop for the Eurostar train from London, and Roubaix in the north. What about curfew times? Curfews have been enforced in two cities near Paris that have seen some of the worst violence. A curfew from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. was imposed in Clamart on Thursday and will remain in effect until July 3rd. Neuilly sur Marne will have restrictions in effect from 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. What impact has transportation had? The transportation networks have been seriously impacted. France ordered the nationwide stoppage of all bus and tram services on Friday at 9 p.m. The Ministry of the Interior announced the measure a day after some services in and around Paris were interrupted as a direct result of the violence, some of which targeted transportation infrastructure. A tram was set on fire in Clamart, one of the hardest impacted municipalities. Several buses were set on fire in Aubervilliers, a Paris suburb. Some bus services in Paris were disrupted on Friday, but the metro system was operational as usual. The train station in Nanterre Prefecture was closed. What impact has transportation had? The transportation networks have been seriously impacted. France ordered the nationwide stoppage of all bus and tram services on Friday at 9 p.m. The Ministry of the Interior announced the measure a day after some services in and around Paris were interrupted as a direct result of the violence, some of which targeted transportation infrastructure. A tram was set on fire in Clamart, one of the hardest impacted municipalities. Several buses were set on fire in Aubervilliers, a Paris suburb. Some bus services in Paris were disrupted on Friday, but the metro system was operational as usual. The train station in Nanterre Prefecture was closed. Is it safe to visit France right now? While the teenager's death and following outcry have shocked France, much of life goes on as usual. The core districts of Paris, which house the Louvre Art Museum and the Eiffel Tower, have remained virtually unharmed. Similarly, rural and seaside places that attract a large number of visitors. However, it is unclear how long the protests will last and what other actions the French government would take to address them. Several nations' travel advisories warn of the protests and advise visitors to monitor the news and check in with tour operators. None have advised against traveling to France entirely. On June 29, the U.S. State Department issued a security notice for France, highlighting the violent aftermath of the teenager's shooting and warning citizens to avoid problem locations. These demonstrations, along with spontaneous protests, are expected to continue and may turn violent, the statement stated. U.S. citizens should avoid large crowds in areas where there is a lot of police activity because they can turn violent and result in clashes. Some cities have curfews in place. It is usually a good idea to notify friends and relatives of your whereabouts. Take note that public transit is impacted. 
it advised keeping an eye on France 24, RFI, and the local for developments. The UK Foreign and Commonwealth Office issued cautions as well, but noted that most travels to France were uneventful. Protests may cause traffic disruptions or the targeting of parked cars in protest areas, it stated on its website. You should monitor the media, avoid protests, check the latest advice with operators before traveling, and heed the authorities' advice. We will keep you updated about the upcoming events. Make sure you smash the subscribe button. Stay tuned. See you.